Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with center O fully inscribed uh, in a triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 2 units. This angle uh, ABC is uh, 75 degrees whereas uh, this uh, angle ACB is uh, 60 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale so let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus uh, on this uh, angle 60 degrees so therefore i have dropped a perpendicular bp on this side ac as you can see over here and as a result we got this triangle bpc and now let's make an observation we know that this is our 90 degrees this is our 60 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees since the sum of uh, all these uh, three angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, BPC. And now we can see that this is our uh, 30, 60, 90 degrees uh, special uh, triangle. And here I have copied down uh, this uh, triangle uh, BPC over here. And we can see that this uh, is our uh, smallest leg since this is opposite to our this uh, smallest angle uh, 30 degrees whereas uh, this leg is our uh, longest leg since this is uh, opposite to this uh, largest angle uh, 90 degrees so in such kind of 30 60 90 triangle uh, this uh, longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg if the smallest leg is uh, one unit uh, then this uh, longest leg is gonna be two and now we can see in this uh, triangle our largest uh, side uh, is uh, two units so therefore our this smallest leg uh, is going to be one unit that means uh, pc is going to be one so therefore in this uh, right triangle bpc our this side length is uh, two this is uh, one so let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, unknown side length uh, bp so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. Let me label uh, this unknown side as lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a square plus b in our case is 1 whole square and c is uh, 2 whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. This is gone so a square turns out to be 3 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore a value turns out to be square root of uh, 3 so therefore uh, our this uh, unknown side a which is the uh, same as uh, this uh, bp length uh, turns out to be square root of 3 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole angle is uh, 75 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 75 minus 30 is going to give us 45 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, abp we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees this angle is 45 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees and now we can see in this triangle uh, this angle is 45 degrees uh, this angle is 45 degrees uh, so therefore these both uh, side lengths uh, are equal so therefore uh, this uh, triangle ABP is an uh, isosceles uh, triangle if this side length is uh, square root of 3 then this uh, AP length is going to be square root of 3 as well so therefore this whole uh, side length uh, AC is going to be 1 uh, plus uh, square root of 3. So I can write 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. We are going to calculate the area of uh, this uh, triangle uh, ABC now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base times height and in our case uh, this uh, 1 plus square root of 3 is our base and this uh, square root of 3 is our height uh, 
of this triangle ABC. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half times uh, our base uh, is 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 times our height is uh, square root of uh, 3. Now let's go ahead and distribute uh, the square root of 3. 1 times square root of 3 is going to be square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us simply 3 as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore we figured out the area of the triangle ABC. And now let's focus uh, once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ABP and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this uh, unknown side length uh, AB of this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. Let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is square root of 3 whole uh, square plus likewise uh, it's going to be square root of 3 whole uh, square equal to c square. And if we simplify this one we're going to get uh, c square equal to 6. Go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore c turns out to be square root of uh, 6. So therefore our this uh, side length uh, a b turns out to be square root of uh, 6 uh, units. Here in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this center O with these uh, points of tangency E, F uh, and uh, D as you can see over here. And now we can see that these are our uh, radii. Let me label this radius as uh, lowercase r lowercase r and lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circular theorem. According to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. And no wonder all these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees since uh, these are our radii and these are uh, our tangent lines. And now in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center O with these uh, vertices A, B and uh, C. And as a result we got uh, these uh, three triangles uh, AOB, this other triangle uh, AOC and uh, this uh, triangle uh, BOC. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this whole uh, triangle ABC is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, individual area of triangles AOB, AOC and uh, BOC. And we already figured out our uh, ABC triangle area. So now our task is uh, to calculate the area of uh, these uh, individual uh, triangles AOB, AOC and BOC. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle AOB. And let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base uh, times height. In our case our uh, base is square root of 6 and our height uh, is uh, radius r. So therefore the area of this triangle AOB is going to be a half uh, times our base is uh, square root of 6 times lowercase r and we can write this one as 1 divided by 2 times r times square root of 6. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this other triangle uh, AOC whose base is uh, 1 plus square root of 3 and uh, height is uh, radius r. So therefore we can write uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 3 times uh, lowercase r. And finally let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, BOC whose uh, base is uh, 2 and uh, height is uh, radius r. So therefore the area is going to be a half uh, times uh, 2 times uh, lowercase r. And here's our next step. We are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, equation since we figured out uh, all uh, these individual uh, areas. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, triangle ABC area over here on the left hand side equals to on the right hand side the area of this uh, triangle AOB, the area of this uh, triangle AOC and finally area of this triangle BOC over here. And now let's make an observation we can see that 1 divided by 2 is in common on the right hand side and this radius uh, R is in common as well. So therefore I have factored out uh, 1 divided by 2 
times are outside and the rest is inside this uh, bracket and if we combine these like terms 1 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have combined uh, these uh, like terms over here and now we can see this 1 divided by 2 and 1 divided by 2 they cancel uh, each other out so therefore we are ended up uh, with uh, r times uh, 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 6 uh, equals to square root of 3 plus 3 on the right hand side now in this uh, next step I have divided both sides by this uh, 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 6 uh, as you can see and we can see that this uh, cancels out with this uh, one so thus our radius uh, r turns out to be 3 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 plus square root of 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 6 and now let me go ahead and manipulate uh, this uh, rational uh, equation I'm going to replace uh, this uh, 3 by 3 square root times uh, square root of 3 and likewise uh, this uh, square root of 6 at the denominator could be written as square root of 3 times uh, square root of 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 3 by square root of 3 times square root of 3 likewise at the denominator this 3 by same thing and over here square root of 6 uh, by square root of 3 times square root of 2 and now we can see square root of 3 is in common at the numerator and likewise square root of 3 is in common at the denominator as well as you can see in this uh, next step I have factor these uh, square root of 3 outside uh, on both uh, numerator and denominator and now we can see this square root of 3 and square root of 3 they are uh, gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, r equals to 1 plus square root of 3 divided by 1 plus square root of 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator so I am going to multiply and divide by 1 plus square root of 2 minus uh, square root of 3 likewise I'm going to divide uh, this one uh, as uh, well and now let's go ahead and multiply these uh, numbers on the top uh, and these one uh, at the bottom uh, as well now let's go ahead and distribute uh, these uh, ones uh, at the top first as you can see in this uh, next step I took care of this uh, numerator and uh, at the denominator I have chunked uh, these one I wrote down uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 2 over here and then uh, square root of 3 over here likewise uh, this one with a negative sign in between and now we can see this uh, positive square root of 3 and negative square root of 3 they are uh, gone and I'm going to replace this uh, square root of 3 times square root of 3 as uh, 3 as you can see over here and now let's combine uh, these uh, two numbers uh, 1 minus 3 that is going to give us a uh, negative uh, 2 as you can see over here on the numerator and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as a square minus b square if I call this our a and this our b likewise this our a and this our b then the denominator is going to become uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 2 whole square minus square root of uh, 3 whole square and now let's focus uh, on this part 1 plus square root of 2 whole square and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it over here and if we simplify this turns out to be 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root 2 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this part uh, by this and uh, this uh, square root of 3 whole square could be written as uh, 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this one uh, by this uh, as you can see over here and this uh, square root of 3 whole square turns out to be simply 3 and now we can see at the denominator 3 and minus 3 they cancel each other out so therefore at the denominator we ended up with uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 now we are almost finished let me go ahead and tweak this uh, 2 2 could be written as uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 2 by square root of 2 times uh, square root of 2 and now we can see square root of 2 is in common uh, at the numerator so therefore we factored out uh, square root of 2 outside and now we can see the square root of 2 at the numerator and square root of 2 at the denominator they cancel each other out 
So therefore, finally, our radius uh, r turns out to be 1 minus uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. So thus the radius uh, turns out to be 1 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 units. And that is approximately equal to 0 0.66 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.